you guys and welcome back to Unfiltered Gamer Board Game Reviews. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Power One the Card Game and you're basically going to be trying to make Power One molds or melds, which I will show you how that works. It's going to come with a deck of cards, you're going to get 10 cards in your hand and then you're going to be playing them down trying to get your melds as well as either eliminating your opponents or getting rid of all of your cards. And if you can do that, you win the game. It's similar to games like Uno that share the idea of drawing cards and playing cards and removing cards from your hand to win with some unique differences like elimination of players and some bit quicker as far as gameplay goes. Anyway, let me go ahead and show you down below what the game looks like, how it functions. We'll do a quick play and then we'll come up and I'll tell you what I think about it. So here's power one. I set it up for two players. Basically each player is going to get a set of 10 cards from the top of this deck and make sure that you go ahead and shuffle this deck first before handing them out and then players are going to take turns going back and forth. On a player's turn they are simply going to be either playing a meld in front of them, playing on somebody else's meld, uh, they're also able to draw a card if they can do nothing, as well as playing a power one. And basically trying to remove the cards from your hand. If you can do that, you win. If a player removes your only set in front of you and they have one in front of them, then you are going to be eliminated. And if you are the last player left, is you are going to basically win the game. The other way is, of course, if your hand of cards is removed, that is going to signify the end of the game as well. Me and Grant will go ahead and show you the game. We'll play a, a round or so. I'll speed it up and talk about it during the speed up a little bit. And then after that, I'll come up and give you some more critiques and uh, tell you what I think about the game. Power one. All right, Grant, here you go. Here's your hand of cards. And that was a full game of Power One. Basically what was happening is, just to give you a rundown of the game, you're able to play certain things on your turn. You start with your 10 cards, and here are the different things you can do. You can either do a Power One meld, which if you do this, everybody's going to have to draw two cards, unless they play a Counter Power One, which means that they play three of their own one cards. They could also play a meld, and a meld is gonna be any three cards with the highest, with, with one of the highest cards being one over any other, uh, other cards. So for instance, a three, three, and a four is okay. A three, three, and a three is okay. A three, uh, um, a, a four, four, and a three, anything like that. So you couldn't do a two, a three, and a four. You couldn't do something like this. But if this was instead maybe, I don't know, a two, that would be okay. Two twos and a three. The highest card is one above the other two cards. And they can all, of course, be the same as well. Additionally, you can play on your opponent's side of the field, which is a good way of removing their different melds. And he has, as you can see, three melds over here. If I was able to remove all of these melds and I had at least one in front of me, because it's the only way you can play on your opponents, then they would be eliminated. Grant would have been eliminated, but there was no way for me to do that, unfortunately. So let me show you uh, one action, for instance. Uh, I'll show you something interesting, I suppose. So this is a two, three, and a two. So I could play a three there, and that'd be fine. And then on Grant's turn, he could play a three as well. And then if we wanted to close it off, so if it was my turn and I happened to have three fours like this, I could do that, and that's going to remove this specific meld set which is closer for him to be removed. Those are his, and these would probably be mine here. Uh, being able to play on your opponents is very, very, very useful. And remember, like I said before, power one meld, if you can pull it off, that's going to make your opponent draw additional cards. So something like this, this, and this will make your opponents draw unless they go ahead and counteract. There's also this card here. It's basically a wild, but it can't be used as a one, but it can be used for anything else. So for instance, if I played, um, oh, I don't know, let's see. If I had something like, like this here... Uh, actually, let me let me show you a better one. How about this, and this, and this? If I had that, I could play this as a four. No big deal. And if on my opponent's turn they played a four as well, like that, then this stack would also be removed. And you're always playing upwards, so you're never going back down. You always want to go from one to two to three to four. And if you can eliminate your hand from the game, which is what Grant did before me, then you're going to win. In fact, he did. Or if, of course, uh, I would have eliminated him or vice versa by removing all of their melds, that would also trigger the end of the game. It's pretty simple as how it functions, but uh, I want to show you how it played anyways. Actually, a really quick game there. Uh, let's go ahead and come up and I'll give you my review. 
So minor little thing that I didn't mention, or if I did, I mentioned it during the uh, talk through of the gameplay. Whenever you play Power One, you get the two, right? I didn't draw those two cards, but just in case. Uh, additionally, let's let's talk about the game. Pretty much, I've said everything you need to know about this game. The cards in the deck are going to be all the different colors, uh, from one to four, as well as these stop signs, which are also basically wild, uh, other than ones. You can't play them as ones. But uh, they are very, very useful. Being able to play in front of you is nice, but being able to play on your opponent's side of the field is even nicer, but you have to have something in front of you in order to do so. This game plays a lot like Uno, realistically. There's a lot of different features that kind of represent it, but instead of playing down in the middle, there's multiple different areas for you to play cards down, and you have to situate your hand based on what you think your opponents are going to play and how they're going to play certain things, as well as kind of mold your hand. Now, of course, you can only play a certain amount of cards on your turn, three, uh, in in one specific stack, so maybe setting up a turn to your next turn to your last turn can be very beneficial. In fact, drawing cards can help in that way. With three and four players, the gameplay is very, very similar to the other ways of playing, and it's not likely you're going to be eliminated, but you can be. And in fact, if you play a three, three, and a four to start off with, uh, on your opponent's turn, they play uh, a set of cards, and then next person plays, and then finally comes back to your turn, and you just draw a card, you're very likely to be eliminated, because if somebody has two fours with that specific color, you have nothing in front of you, they had something in front of them, you are now eliminated. So be careful what you play and how you play it. Sometimes it's better to hold the cards than to actually play them. This game does have quite a bit of strategy. It functions, as far as I would say, strategy on the same level of Uno, but it has some unique twists, and that's, of course, like I said, the player elimination aspect, and the fact that there's multiple different ways to play, and how you want to place down your cards at what point in time. It has some mathematical aspects as, as well, and based on if you can count cards or not, you help determine what cards are more likely to be left in the deck based on how many cards have been played out. Generally, the games are pretty quick, pretty simple, and straightforward, and I think the box is about ages eight and up. It's probably somewhere around there. The rules were kind of like confusing to watch on the video, uh, and the rule book specifically too. So hopefully this gave you a, a good understanding of how to play. Now I'm not 100% certain, but I'm like 99% certain that it's cards from your hand that get removed because in the actual video it says once your cards are gone, well, are the cards in front of you your cards? And if that's the case, then you'll be drawing uh, draw, go, draw, grow, draw, go until finally you can get rid of your stuff, which is kind of weird. So I don't think that's how it plays. And if it did, I wouldn't be a, as big of a fan of this game. But I think it's basically once you get rid of the cards in your hand and uh, just like small minor little rules that I had to get through and understand how it functioned. And based on how you played the game, it was kind of intuitive playing the game more so than understanding some of the rules. But uh, give that with what you will. Overall, it's a solid little game. It works for families. I think for those of you who are like deep strategic board gamers, probably not going to be the game for you. It's quick. It's simple. It has some unique little twists and turns as far as strategy. And it's not not Uno, so don't actually, you know, it's just a very good comparison as to what other game would be like if you liked Uno or games like that. You will like Power One. Uh, I enjoyed this game. It's something I'll probably be playing with my younger kids and family. Those are the type of people who are going to be down for this game specifically, but for me and my gamers, when we come out, Power One's probably not going to hit the table all that often, to be very honest. Regardless, though, if you're interested in taking a look at the game Power One, go ahead and take a look down below. Check it out. Tell me what you guys think down below in the comments, and uh, whether or not you guys want to pick up Power One, the card game. All right. Uh outro. Alright guys, thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer card game review. If you like this video, please share this video out. It helps us tremendously get those views up and be able to have people take a look at the game Power One if they're interested. If you know somebody who likes games like Uno, this is definitely going to be one they should check out. Families and people who have young kids, uh, Power One. Also check our website, unfilteredgamer.com. Blog posts, giveaways, kicks our list and more. Live stream every Wednesday, 7.30pm PST. We give away games on stream live and play games just like the one we showed you today. And you can go ahead and join us in on the fun. It's getting pretty popular. People like it. People like you. People like you like it. So you should come and watch us. All right, guys, that's all I got this time. As always, I look forward to creating a power one with you next time. See you later.